everybody. We are here, Tinseltown. To get down. To get down. Not to be mad, but That's maybe right. seem maxed out. Whoa. I know. I'll take that? that without a doubt, because we're here with before and, and after, after the, the movie. movie. We are going to see, my friend, what are we going to see? We're going to go see Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. How about that? George Miller back. What? If you've not seen the original, original yes. Mad Max, you yes. got to go see that's it. That's right. That's that's more Miller genuine draft. Right. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. This is gonna be we'll see if it's gonna be Miller Light or not. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Well, I love the cast and a lot of things going on with Absolutely. this. Uh, if you saw the Mad Max a couple of years ago with uh, with Tom, it was it was an interesting thing and you saw a character Absolutely. in there by Sharice Theron. Um, right. And so we're gonna find out a little bit more about her. So that's kind of exciting to kind of go absolutely, through. absolutely. So we're we're excited. You're talking about action pack, following the the the, the formula of Furiosa, um, which was uh, Charlize Theron's uh, character. Even though it's not gonna be her playing it, it's gonna be played by Anna Taylor Joy, who I think was actually a good pick for this. Very good. She's pick. been doing a lot of great things as far as. Shucks, you, you're talking about films, just look her up. You'll be like, oh man, who is that? We're talking about Queen's Gambit um, and so many other uh, the films. The so Man, she, oh my goodness. And Chris Hemsworth. Yes, so we've yes. got we got a really big Absolutely. thing. And George, George Miller does not. I mean, they upped it. Last time it was yeah. 150 stunt people on Mad Max. 200 stunt people. Look at that. A little nod to the fall guy, huh? Stunt big. man. That's right. That's it. Thumbs That's up. it. I think it. we saw that a couple times, and I think in this movie we saw a couple times this oh, one. You better be ready. You better be ready. Not dead, but That's slightly it. injured. That's it. We're gonna go. I mean, to get down. That's what we're ready to do is get down. That's we're gonna right. have a thumbs up, but we're gonna get down on Furiosa. Well, I'll tell you what. We are gonna go ahead as always. Go ahead, and get snacks. Snacks. We so thank you very much for you joining know it. us, and we are going to see you before and after, after the, the movie. movie. We are back after the movie. After the movie. Let's go see Furiosa, a Mad Max song. All right, we got Kim here, and Kim's got some interesting thoughts about the film. We're going to go Absolutely. to that in just a little bit. I just want to say it was an interesting, good, good time. The storyline was really, really interesting, and there was a, a sort of like a, what do they call it, like a prequel to... Somewhat, uh, yeah. Absolutely. To Mad Max, uh, absolutely. Fury, Fury Road, absolutely. so that kind of thing. So you want to tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, the... so what it does, it follows the renegade warrior, Furiosa, for some of those people that do know that canon. And it kind of shows you the road that she goes down before she actually teams up with those facts that guy we know as Mad Max. Definitely, and of course, George Miller has been the, the mastermind behind all of this. I thought that he did a really interesting job, but I want to hear, I'm always, here we go. Jim, <laughs> She's back. When she walked out of the theater, her head was kind of down and she yeah. was thinking. So, yes. tell us a little bit of what you thought about the film. I, I, let me start off by saying I like the lead. I've seen her in other things. I think she's an amazing actress. I'm not buying her as Furiosa. And I understand that this is a progression from child into womanhood. But she does not stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Charlize Theron. Charlize Theron looks like she can kick your ass. This woman looks like she'd cry if she broke a fingernail. So I'm not buying that. I'm not feeling the character development. I'm not feeling the strength that Charlize Theron demonstrates in Fury Road. Um, and I think the edit's a little off. You know, that you've got to put title cards in to tell me where we are and what means that your storytelling wasn't seamless. So, yeah. You know, that's a good yeah, point, but good point. the thing that I, to me, those movies are really kind of hard to follow because when they were going to the one town, I was confused. I think I had to ask you, where are they at now? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so it got a little confusing. Right. So it helped a little bit with some of the titles right. to know where, because there's a lot of right. fractions going on, a lot of things going on. But for I, I, the storytelling, the script, lots of things going on. Chris yes. Hemsworth, right. you want to just and kind of mention Joy. Yeah, minute. Chris Hemsworth, Anna Taylor Joy, Tom Burke plays a plays a great role. Um, as far as uh, uh, the Patreon, the truck driver Jack that we go ahead and uh, we see as far as in that film. But uh, you know, to me, those are kind of. 
those kind of big three um, that we're that you're really going to see, kind of pay attention to. Um, it's going to be everywhere. I mean, this is uh, really a a really mixed blend. I mean, it's Neapolitan ice cream and then some <laughs> Baskin and Robbins. 31 flavors, all kind of favors, everything you could think of, it's happening within this film. Um, for maybe some of the Canon um, personnel out there, it may be just a little bit, you know, a little bit here or there and everything. However, I will say, as a standalone film, for somebody coming new and an entrance into this thing that's new right now, I would say go check it out at the theater. A lot of excitement, a lot of things going on. I mean, the one thing I found really fascinating with the film is when you had the climactic things going on. It's about early to midway of the film, and all this stuff is happening, explosions, action, every, all this and all that, eating popcorn, chewing your fingernails along the way, and then they have that moment where it's just nothing but silence. I thought that was awesome. I thought that was awesome. Just to have all that and then bam, actually a time to go ahead and sit. The character meditates, contemplates, and you're kind of like there too, like man, what, what did we just experience? Just as far as with that silence. So definitely a great job as far as on that end. Um, I, I personally, I feel that the, the, the character lineup, they did a great job embodying those characters at those points in times. Um, Chris Hemsworth, I mean, uh, the man. The nose. The nose. Yes, but um, the body. Yes. Yes. If oh, I, you if hear I, that? Sorry, Kim, you hear that? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. for anything, at. they put the nose on him. The nose plays. You see oh, that? You see that? But the <laughs> yeah. body you is see that? tight. So, you ladies, see? there it is. You There's heard your see end that? on this movie. Look, she said tight. It was it was done right. And listen, I ain't even going to fight. That's what just happened right now live and in concert. So it was kid tested and Kim approved right there, okay? <laughs> That's what happened. She said my man was a box of kicks, and she wasn't talking about Barry Barry either, okay? That's what's happening. So there we go. Compound effect, ripple effect. But, you know, like I said, everybody did a, did a, did a great job within there. Um, kudos to Frank Miller, the staff. Um, action sequences um, definitely were good but once again I think it's one of those where maybe you may not compare a little bit but maybe just a continuation as far as that saga and maybe awaken people to go look at some of these earlier films because some of those uh, earlier films are you know cult classics man I mean you look at uh, God dog man Mel Gibson and don't forget anime Bullock for those that know Tina Turner you know what I'm saying in there and then going you know forward we got Charlize Theron along the way so you got this one coming in. I mean, there's just still a lot of great things happening within this film. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I came into this kind of like, uh, kind of a little bit iffy. And I'm gonna tell you, I think I left a little bit more elevated um, as far as watching this film. Maybe I gotta rewatch some of the earlier ones too. So it's gonna reawaken that. But Frank Miller, crew, kudos, and we're gonna keep it rolling. All right, one other thing too. We were talking about, we were talking about the ranking of films. I can't oh. let Kim go oh. without her giving top instead of the five. Let's go three of what of the Mad Max films. Uh, Road Warrior. Uh, Road Warrior and Fury Road. Road, Road Warrior and Fury Road are the top two. Okay. The oh, she went to. Yeah. The, the so. rest of <laughs> kind of hey. dropping. She's not going to give. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to. My favorite is the original Mad Max, 1979. Okay. Because it was like something I've never yeah. seen before. The other ones were kind of just kind of like, these are crazy ass yeah. characters, yeah. In, and, and we're just like following along in their in their journey. Yeah. But I, George Miller is really, uh, he's very interesting because right. he was an ER doctor, and the gore in this film. One one other thing we want to kind of, it's a little, it's not really turn your head away. It's not gore. gore. It's yeah. not gore. Yeah. So that helps out a lot yeah. in doing right. that. So. Yeah. Oh, also one other thing too. Mm -hmm. uh, Kim, not only a lawyer but also an actress. You want to tell them a little bit yeah. about what we got coming up uh, right. for Shakespeare? Well, we've been doing Shakespeare in the Park for 13 years, Ooh. and we rebranded this year. We are now the Youngstown Shakespeare Company because we it. have some uh, underwriting oh, from the man. city. So we're in Ween Park this summer in July, July 19th, 20th, 21st. It's free mm. and open to the public. All right. Yeah. Now, are you going to be in one of those? No, I'm just the producer. Just oh, the producer. Oh, there okay. you go. Well, do we have a name on the on the play, or is it... we're doing much ado about nothing? So Ooh, that's bringing, interesting. Bring in uh, an actor from Chicago. Oh, and, nice. Uh, an equity actor from Chicago, and nice. uh, so he will be working with the locals, and we're looking forward to doing a slightly different presentation. So. When our company does Shakespeare, we don't do it straight. We throw something in there every single time. So we All right, there you go. There. Okay. You can be live Look at that. watching that, See not that? only in the theater. So Bam. thank you very much, Kim.
And I'll tell you what, like I said before, I have to go back and watch a couple of the films myself, but I really, really enjoy that. Scooter, anything else? Any? No, that's it. Listen, this, this was awesome. Go out there, support this theater. It's a work of art. But not only that, hey, support Youngstown with Shakespeare in the Park. Definitely. And don't forget, shirts coming oh, up. Oh, look at that right go there. Ahead, look sexy. at that, huh? Go ahead, hold sexy. Hold on, hold on. Let me get that. I got a go dust. Ahead, got, a, got a little bit of go popcorn ahead, dust. Go ahead. See, we got a little. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, oh, all right. That's all enough right. sexy. I don't want to give them too much. It's Sunday. I know, That's please. It. Thank you, please. But we want to say, hey, thank you, everybody who's been subscribing, everybody who's been sharing, and our family members, everybody. Absolutely. We hope you're having a lot of fun. We had a good time with this movie. Thank you again, Kim. Thank you. We appreciate it. Yes, yes. And we will see you before and, and after, after the, the movie. movie.